Obviously, it's a significant uh, proposition in the sense that Oman gets to gain a lot of um, insights into the world's policy-making uh, mechanism. Oman has been able to uh, rub shoulders with the leading uh, most developed nations and the leading developing nations in its pursuit towards uh, achieving the, um, uh, the, the, the sustainable goals. Uh, we are also pursuing our interest in transitioning from conventional energy to alternative energy. And for that, we need to be aligned with the major consumers and the producers in making sure that we've got our act together. In, in many ways, we are also um, looking at bridging um, our, our, our uh, connections with um, matters pertaining to our Vision 2040, and that we need to be aligned in terms of the, the, the manufacturing trends of tomorrow, the skills of tomorrow, and more importantly, um, what are the new agricultural policies of the world are we aligned in them? Are we going to pursue certain uh, aspects of agriculture which can be sustainable in Oman? You know, when we started, we weren't very sure about what to expect and what to gain out of the G20. But as we started participating, we started laying. The biggest gain has been the knowledge and the, and, and the policy-making um, uh, uh, measures that have, been taken, that have been shared with us. And the more we participated, the more entrenched we got. And Oman has participated in close to 115 meetings, of which nine of them have been at a ministerial level. Now, this just goes to show how interested and how uh, involved Oman has been in, in this whole aspect of the G20 uh, movement. And, and I really believe that this is not the, the, the end of it because what we need to do is to take matters that we have gained and implement various policies that we have been, that we've exchanged uh, notes on with other uh, friendly countries. Oman's relationship with India has already been on a very sound footing for thousands of years, but this particular last 10 months in which we have come and met and actually shared days and days of, of, of knowledge and, and our um, uh, key sustainable goals with, with India. And India has been more than welcoming in, 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 in sharing their uh, gains, their best practices with us. And I think going forward, whether it comes to tourism, whether it comes to health, whether it comes to agriculture, whether it comes to energy transition, I think these are the four major factors. And of course, let's not forget education. Um, and, 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 and to cap it all has got to be the digital transformation that India has uh, has, 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 uh, has exemplified itself with. And this is somewhere that Oman will definitely participate with India in, in, in making sure that we set our own uh, targets, our own mechanisms in enforcing uh, uh, you know, our, our vision in, in, in these areas.